Hey guys, it's me, David, and welcome back to another LEGO review. Today we have the brand new LEGO Looney Tunes CMF series. I know a lot of people are very excited by this. LEGO has sent over an entire box of these guys, and we're going to unbox and see all 12 of the brand new minifigures. And also we're gonna see how many extras and if you get an entire carton of minifigures like this, like how many extras and which ones are more rare than others. Let's find out. So let's open this. So I've never actually opened a CMF box. Oh, I need my scissors. <laughs> I have uh, never done this before. It's been a very long time. Oh, so I was curious, yeah, how does this work? It flips up. Like that. Look at that. I never knew that. The more you know. Uh, so it looks to be, I think there's like 36. I don't know the exact count of minifigures, but I'll go ahead and just take them all out here. That was a, that's a lot of minifigures. I'm not used to this. This is so many. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Well. <laughs> Where to begin? I I'm gonna be using scissors a lot today. Let's uh, let's let's <laughs> let's go ahead and unpack all of these minifigures, guys. Let's go. All right, so to my surprise, after building all these Looney Tune minifigures, there is an exact set of three of each minifigure in this CMF box, meaning that you have three sets of 12 or three full things of the entire wave in one CMF box. That's really exciting. And by the way, I think I didn't mention in the beginning, but this was provided by Lego. This is a review unit of Lego CMF Looney Tunes minifigures, so I appreciate them for sending it over. And I can also say that pretty much all of these minifigures you can very much feel in these bags, like they're humongous molds and you can easily feel them in the bag. So that won't be an issue trying to get a full set of 12. So that's really nice. It's also really cool that Lego decided to stick with the bags. I know a lot of people were worried with the Lego video theme launching earlier this year with their random minifigures, they were in boxes and there was no way to figure out like by feeling the box, you couldn't figure out which character was which. So Lego has decided to continue the bags and I think a lot of fans really like the blind bags compared to the boxes of the Lego video series. Let's go ahead and take an in-depth look at all 12 of the Looney Tunes characters. All right, so our first minifigure is the Tasmanian Devil. So first up, he does have a tail on the back, and I believe this is the same tail that Coyote later on will use on the figure. Might not be exact one. Now, Tasmanian Devil comes with a little disc that's printed that you can actually spin uh, the figure on. He also comes with a little pie and a chicken leg and he has mid legs and a blank torso and those mid legs also have some printing on it. After that we have Sylvester. He comes with a uh, baseball bat. I just, it's so funny. Looney Tunes and Lego actually looks really good. Uh, but this is another great character, great printing all around. He has a very similar tail design that the new Tigger minifigure from the Lego Winnie the Pooh set also has. After that, we have Petunia Pig. This is an interesting choice for this first wave of Looney Tunes. I feel like she's a little less known. Um, and also, you know, this is a questionable figure for me, mainly because of what you'll see here in a second. Uh, Lego decided underneath the skirt of the figure to include like undergarments, which is a little strange, I feel like, printed on flesh tone mid legs. I guess it's accurate to the actual Looney Tunes figure, but it just seems a little strange. I don't know. Overall, it's a good looking minifigure. After that, we have, of course, Tweety Bird. Uh, very, very iconic Looney Tunes uh, character. Lego knocked it out of the park. Great molded piece. Almost all the head molds are the exact same, like normal ABS plastic, no soft plastic heads in this. Uh, Tweety also comes with a big hammer. It does require you to balance it a little bit on the figure. After that, we have we have Porky Pig. I, I love this figure. They did such a great job with it. Uh, you get a really nice looking figure with 
flesh tone mid legs. It's a first time I believe seeing that with some printing of the pig's hooves. I think pigs have hooves on the bottom there. And he also comes with the that's all folks uh, sign from the end of, of course, the cartoons. Next up is probably the most iconic uh, figure of them all, Bugs Bunny. I mean, you gotta you gotta have Bugs Bunny if you're gonna make a Looney Tunes CMF series. So I'm glad they included him. After that, we have Lola Bunny. Uh, now, this is a figure out of all of the Looney Tunes from this wave is very most directed to Space Jam because she's in her basketball outfit. She even comes with a basketball, too. Uh, now, the actual printing and the mold of the head is all very accurate. You got medium nougat arms and uh, her hair color is medium nougat. Uh, you got side leg printing. Uh, you even have a little tail in the back for her. After that is Daffy Duck. Uh Another really iconic Looney Tunes character. And man, they just nailed this one. Like, this looks really, really accurate. Like, if I were to make Daffy Duck out of Lego, this is exactly how I'd do it. He also has Donald Duck from the Disney uh, CMF wave. Uh, he has Donald Duck's uh, little tail in black. So that's really cute, honestly. It looks adorable. Uh, but then you have uh, black and orange legs, which looks really nice. And he also comes with a printed rabbit season uh, sign as well. So very nice. Our next CMF figure is Marvin the Martian. Uh, wouldn't be my top choice to put in this first wave if they're making mo multiple wave of Looney Tunes minifigures, but regardless, it is a very accurate looking minifigure. Has a little printed um, piece for his skirt, I think. And you also get a lime green gun printed mid legs. And this is one of the only few figures in this wave that actually has a normal printed Lego head. Um, and it's just a black head with the very wide eyes on the figure. After that, we have Coyote. And I do believe the tail is maybe slightly different from the one that the Tasmanian Devil uses because I think it's a little longer, but it's very similar looking. After that, with Coyote, you have to have Roadrunner. Again, a really fantastic looking minifigure. I love the medium blue torso and the medium blue tail. Like, it just looks so good. Oh my God, Lego knocked it out with this figure. Uh, the tail and the top of his head, uh, both of those like feather pieces are bendable plastic. They're not hard plastic, but the um, arms and the actual head itself are hard Lego plastic. After that, our last figure is Speedy Gonzalez, another great looking Looney Tunes figure. Of course, he has to come with a bunch of cheese. It's printed Lego cheese slopes. I love that. He also has a little like rat tail on the back and it looks really, really good. His headpiece is very unique out of all of the Looney Tunes figures. It looks really good. And again, I absolutely love the printed cheese slopes. That's a really nice little tidbit Lego. All right, so you've seen all 12 minifigures now. What is my personal favorite? Well, I have to go with Roadrunner. This this minifigure in particular just looks really good in Lego. I don't know. Something about Roadrunner just, just works for me. Uh, I have to mention, though, be careful opening some of these bags because I accidentally cut off Roadrunner's tail just slightly, just a teeny sliver with uh, with the scissors uh, because of the way it was lined up in the bag so make sure you're being careful when you're opening these guys I oh, mean they're all good they're all great minifigures I do have to agree though that there is a lot of absent Looney Tunes figures here or characters I should say um, you know wait, wait, where's Leghorn like come on now there's there's a lot of characters that are missing now another thing is this lines up with Space Jam, A New Legacy. I, be, I think that's a new movie coming out later this summer. It's the sequel to the original Space Jam, I think. You know, it's got LeBron James and all that. That's why Lego is making Lego Looney Tunes. Like, it's kind of a random thing to make uh, for Lego, but they decided to make it now, and it lines up with the Space Jam movie coming out. And if the movie's popular and these minifigures are popular, which I feel like these will be pretty popular. I mean, they all look really good. I, I, I could, The reaction from the Lego community has been very positive with this. So I could easily see a series two of Looney Tunes, and I think that'll solve a lot of the missing characters that we don't have in this wave. So let me know down in the comments, what do you think of the Lego Looney Tunes figures? Again, thank you Lego for sending the review copy over. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the extra two sets of minifigures that I have here. Maybe I'll do a giveaway on my Instagram uh, or maybe I'll just give them to one of my friends. I don't know, I'll figure that out. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day. And subscribe for more LEGO content. Bye-bye.